make a mistake, but I know what I want. I want you today, now and always. You were my Why are you here, Brenda? Brenda, what do you want? I came to find answers to the questions in my head. Andrew, what did I do to you to, to make you leave me in such an embarrassing state? I've known you for years. You chose to throw away all we had over someone you barely know. A girl you've met only twice in the past one year, after you started working at the factory. Is she worth it? Oh, yes, she is. You know why? All she wants is me. I'm all she wants. She's not in my life for my money. Brenda, you left me. You left me because you felt that I was financially incapable of financing your expensive lifestyle. Have you suddenly forgotten? And then you show up here with your sanctimonious self looking all innocent. What are you talking? What you think you're the victim here? Oh! You dumped me. You're a freaking gold digger. That's what you. Don't, hey, 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 don't, don't try it. Put that hand down. No, if that hand comes here, you'd not like it. The outcome will be very yes yeah, good. Bring it down. Hi. Yeah. Well, I hope there's a good reason you called me out from work. Come on, uh, your friend is not returning my calls. And uh, please, Monica, I need you to help me convince her. To death me. And I just want her to give me a chance, you know. I promise she won't she won't regret it. Brenda is not a child. If she doesn't want to see you, then there is nothing I can do. I'm just a friend and not a mother. I don't have a say in what goes on in her life. Come on. Okay. Um, yes. Can you help me with the address? Give me an address so that. I can meet her in person and she will understand how I, how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> You're very funny. I can't do that. That's the last thing I would do. You know what? Just keep calling her. Maybe one day the Spirit of God will touch her and she will decide to talk to you. But for now, please, just relax. Try and call her. Maybe she might just pick your call. I want to sound this as a warning. Don't ever call me out during work hours for things like this, okay? I have to go inside. Bye. What do we have here? Sandra. What are you doing outside? Andrew left me here and went out. And you left you and went out. You see? That's what I'm saying. How can you be killing yourself for a man that does not have any feelings for you? A man that does not regard you despite your beauty. When I am here with a bunch of love. Who does that? Listen, I have told you severally. If I cannot have you, no one will. Neither him, he cannot have you. So it's been you all this while. It's been you. You made Andrew leave me. Listen. Let me tell you something. Andrew listen to everything I tell you. Do you understand? So all I am begging you, eh? Just allow me to test you. 
Do you understand? At least let me test this sanctuary and know how it feels like. Come on. It's not a big something I'm asking you. Doesn't you know how much of a disgusting person that you are? Do you want to tell him? If you want to tell him, then go ahead and tell him. Let me see who he will listen to. Calm down. Calm down. I'm only begging you. Just one night. Eh? One night. Just one standing night with you. Yeah, you will enjoy me. I'm not listening to this rubbish. I'm sick. Baby, please, just one night. Give me just one night. Hey, Loki. Chai! Why, 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 why you don't want to give me this thing, eh? On my way out there, you won't believe who I saw. Who? Oh. Chris! In fact, I did not believe what I was hearing coming out of his mouth. He uh -uh. made me realize that he was the person that made Andrew break up with me. He was behind it all. Because I know there is no way Andrew will do what he did to me intentionally. I knew it. Oh, please. Step out of your delusion. Is Andrew a child that someone will tell something and he goes on and does it? No, he's not. He left you because he wanted to. This was no influence. Yes. He left you and did what was best for him because he's a selfish person. And why did you even go there after everything he did to you? After all the humiliation he gave you? Because I needed answers. I needed to know. I, I, I needed closure. That was hey. the only way I would, I would have peace and move on. You were seeking for answers that were not even there. But when will you move on? Andrew is a bad man. He doesn't care about you. Move on and give men who are interested in you a chance. Stop thinking about that Andrew guy. He's just a fool. He doesn't mean worth it. Andrew, 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 Andrew. No, that is around no Stop playing. I hope you're not giving that girl a second thought. No, never. I'm not. See, brother, it's, it's, not, it's not like I am trying to, I'm trying to push you into this, but you check him now, check him, eh? Check him, this Clarita of a girl, she's the only daughter. Are you no big guy? Marrying this girl now automatically put you in place, in charge of this company. You understand? I'm not trying to like push you into something, but I'm trying to let you know. Looking at the future, you are seeing yourself as a big thing that will happen in this city. Check out now, bro. Oh, well. Yeah, but um, I don't need your servant to, to know what's best for me. Brenda is in my past and she would stay in my past. Clarita will be home in a couple of weeks and we'll just get on it. All right? We'll just... Um, Kickstart our wedding plans. Now, man, you be. You know, these are the kind of things I want to be hearing from you, brother. You understand? You know, I, I mean, we were supposed to be. Follow me up. Understand me the way I am, bro. You know, it's not like I am. Maybe we have the bill I said, but understand me, bro. You understand? I've been a friend. So, uh, please, please, please. I, I need you to give me some attention. Do you understand? Like, I need help. I'm sorry, you're not my client, so I can't help you. I'm attending to my training, as you can see. Okay? Yes, can we? Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, excuse me. Can you at least, can you point me to someone who can help me? 
Sir, I'm sorry it's going to be maybe tomorrow, okay? But today you say I'm the other one here. You don't even know what I'm dealing with. See the way you're discharging me. This is quite... Sir, you've been doing nice. this for a while now. Whenever you come, you do your thing and you leave. So I believe you've been doing this. But this is not great customer sorry, service sorry, now. Sorry, hello, hello. See the way you're talking to, to, to a customer. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. So... Apply. Right. Yeah, yes, yes. Um. And since when... Since when did you become a gym rat? You show up here every other day now, huh? What's going on? Huh? The gym is open to everyone and you don't have any right to tell me where I should be or not be, okay? Ah. You think the world revolves around you? Grow up! Are you letting the gym instructor touch you all over? Now, what's up with that? And how is that your business? We're no longer together, so I have the right to do whatever I want with whomever I want, okay? Get out. Damn, girl, I miss you. I wanna be with you in spite of all that may be. Hello, babe. How are you doing? Oh, that's amazing. That's good. Um, any idea at all what you'd like for me to come to you? Okay, that's fair enough. My goodness. Hi. Come here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was getting all set to come get you. I know. I just wanted to surprise you. And you got me. <laughs> eh? Come here. <sighs> and you got me, you know. I did. Mm -hmm. It's all good. What's the face for now? What's the shakara for? <laughs> uh, you're back home and you're excited. So good to have you back. Same here. But now that you're back, so many things we're going to do together. Really? Yes, baby. <laughs> I cannot wait. You look so beautiful. I know, right? Stop gloating. <laughs> <laughs> Stop gloating. Welcome home, baby. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy you're here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. How did you find my house? Come on. Uh, here's a gift for you. I don't need your cheap gift. Keep it. Leave my house. I don't want to be disrespectful. Mm. Brenda, calm down. I want us to talk. Right, just let me come in for a minute so that we can talk. I don't, I don't have time for this, okay? I don't have, look, my whole body, heart and soul does not have time for anything that has to do with a man. Not at this time, okay? So please leave. 
Brenda. Okay, you know what? I'll leave. But just accept this little gift from me, please. Listen, I will not give up on you because I love you. Okay? Thank you. She's cooking. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised because, you know, we have this impression about rich kids that they have everything figured out. Everything, you know, everyone at their beck and call. They have a driver, they have a personal assistant, they have a cook, a cleaner, you know, everything. Yeah, the whole nine yards, you know. But this one, I ah, know I'm amazed. Ah, thank God you have seen for yourself. You see, uh, this girl, she's so rounded. Yeah. Well sophisticated. Yes. And she's rich. Yeah. And now, she can cook. <laughs> man, you are the most luckiest. <laughs> she's a gem, I know. My man, that is why I'm telling you, my guy. It's not like I am trying to, you know, mm. you need to hook up with this girl, hold this girl tight because so many men, they are queuing, my guy. Try, let's visit the parents so that at least you can marry this girl. <laughs> oh boy, they hurry. But that's why she's here now. Uh, that's why she came back. So mm -hmm. very soon I'll get my people to go see her people and we'll just go from there. No, no, very soon is no time, bro. Many, very soon is no time. Why your body hot? Relax. My bro, don't hurt. It's just that. But this opportunity, <laughs> opportunity come by once, bro. Don't worry. Uh, it will pass us by. <laughs> I pray, I pray, bro. I pray. Man. Now our team, now our team, now our team. Babe, what's going on? Dave said he was here and you turned him away. Why? Because I don't have time for him or any man at all. I don't, I'm not ready for that. And I don't like the fact that you gave him my address. Honestly, I don't like it. What do you mean by you don't like it? What is your problem? Why don't you want to move on? You're hoping that Andrew is going to come back to you? <laughs> well, news flash. He's never going to come back to you. You know why? He's happy with another woman. So why can't you do same and move on with your life? You're torturing yourself. It keeps sounding like it's easy to move on. It's not easy. 
Look, I'm trying here. Well, it's not easy. You're not trying. You are not trying. Dave loves you a lot. Despite everything you've done to that guy, he keeps coming back. He has been onto you like forever. That is an intentional man. A man who knows what he wants. See, you better take your mind off that Andrew guy. He's never coming back. Ah, move on with your life. Andrew is gone and he's gone for good. We had something going on. Thought he was so. I gave you my everything. Did you? you are here hey, Dave. With me. <sighs> Monique, what's up now? You have I'm okay. Yeah. Ah. And I've been waiting for Brenda. Do you think she'll come? I've been here for like two hours now. <laughs> Don't worry. She'll come around. Maybe something is keeping her. Oh. She'll join you soon. Don't worry. Man, I've made a reservation at a five-star restaurant just for us, you know. And if she doesn't come, it will be for nothing. And uh, getting on that date will be a very big problem. I just want us to have a good time. Okay. <sighs> I gave you my word that she's going to join me soon. So don't worry, just relax, calm down and have fun. Drink your drink, okay? Hey! Babe, Dave has been waiting for you for the past two hours. Let him wait. Let him wait! Wait a minute. You're not even dressed yet. I don't want to go. I mean, there's no point leading him on when I know I don't want to have anything to do with him. So I'm not going, please. Well, that would be an unfair thing to do. But I don't want to go. Well, you agreed on this day. I changed my mind. He already made plans for the two of you. Oh, God. Dishing him the last minute will be so heartbreaking. Please, now. Give yourself a chance to be happy. You deserve this. You know what? I'm going to sort out a beautiful dress for you. I don't want to go. <laughs> don't worry. I will help you get ready. And yes, this date is a must. You deserve to be happy. I want to watch you sit down here and start thinking of someone that doesn't regard you. Let me go get you a beautiful dress. At least I know, but the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not die. You understand? What matters is that, bro, focus on one goal. What goal? Getting married to her now and sitting on that big loan that her father has. That is the goal now. Uh -huh. man. I have to be alive to sit on the billions you talk about. Because with that kind of food, I'm not going to last six months in that marriage. Do you, do you understand? Marry this girl, sit on that billion. Everyone hey. will be alright. Oh, <sighs> You came back so soon. What happened? I was so, so angry. I had to leave him there. Angry? What happened? This guy kissed me. I didn't see it coming. I wasn't expecting it. I don't even know how that happened. I, I couldn't control it. Like, I don't even want to think about it. This guy would not let me be. He was all over me at dinner. He wouldn't even let me breathe. He did not have... He didn't allow me to have a good time. The food we ordered... He was feeding me like feeding me in my mouth. As if my hands were not functioning. Like I'm a kid. It was so embarrassing. People were looking and laughing at us. He couldn't get his hands off me. <laughs> God, no, no. Is that why you're angry? <laughs> okay. I know what he did was bad. Kissing you without your consent is a no-no for me. That was really bad. But I'm sure that wasn't his intention. Maybe he was trying to... Trying to do what exactly? No, 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 tell me. It's not like we're an item. I've not even accepted to date him. We're not dating. So he has no right to do that. 
Don't even try to defend that gutter attitude he just exhibited, okay? okay? Don't. Please. So annoying. But you know, Dave is a good guy, right? So I'm here telling you about how horrible of a date I had with him. I'm here calling him a good guy. Really? Really? Don't even start. <clears throat> and I don't want to see him anywhere close to my house. He shouldn't come here. I don't want to see him anywhere around. Come down I'm serious. Now. I'm serious. It's not that serious. It is that serious. Men are not that scarce. Please, I'd rather be single. What is it? I don't think you're listening to what I'm saying at all. Mommy, mommy, listen to me. Mommy, this man doesn't get hard at all. Mommy, I'm so pretty. I'm a very pretty girl. That any man with his reasonable eyes see me on my naked body should get hard. But in his own case, mommy, he looks at me like I'm one strong Iroko tree. When he even sees me, mommy, I don't know. Maybe he sees me like I'm, I'm a tuba of yam. Mommy, what is going on? Because at this point, I don't even know what is happening. I'm so confused. God. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. What's going on? You, you can't smell what I'm smelling? You... What, you don't get it? The kitchen stinks! Why does the kitchen look like a dumpy ground? Why? It's, it's, it's messy! The, the, the soup in... The, 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 the soup in the pot is, is, is old. And, and it's, it's, it's just the breed, breeding maggots. I, 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 mean, I mean, what? How... So why How? are you telling me? Why are you telling me? I am telling you because it's causing the house to smell, that's why. Wow. Mmm. What, it doesn't bother you? Wait a minute. Are you expecting me to go clean up the kitchen for you? For, for me, yeah. But you, you're <sighs> here. Oh, no, darling. Of course not. Listen, I am not your maid. I am your girlfriend. If you know you want someone to clean up your kitchen, clean up your house, then go get a maid. I am not your maid. I hope you get it straight. No. Okay, you get it straight soon. Anyways, I was outside trying to do something very important before your all oh, Clarita interrupted me. I have to go now. 
Clarita, Clarita. release. He comes here and walk out and leave. He barely talks to nobody, as a matter of fact. Okay, please do let me know when next he comes on. Sure, sure, I'll do that. So let's go. No, All let's right. pull it up. You just pull it up. Up. Hold it here. Hold it here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now pull it up. 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 Woo! Am I putting it together? No. Just Take hold. it back. Yeah. I want to slow down on my marriage plans with Clarita. I feel that things would not work for the both of us. Are you really out of your mind, bro? Because to me, you've lost your mind. I haven't lost my mind. A few things about that young lady puts me off. I have thought long and hard about this and um, I have decided to tell myself the truth. I really don't have genuine feelings for her. A few things about her puts me off. It's almost as if whatever it is that I feel for her, as shallow as it is, is just superficial. No deep emotional connection, nothing. Even if she stands right in front of me, stuck naked, I can't can't get a hard on. So? So? What, it doesn't matter to you? What are you, what are you even insinuating? You have honey in your mouth and you want to spit it out. But who does that now? Because of that little thing that doesn't even feel anything for you. We're talking business here, brother. We're talking business. And then you attach emotional feeling with business. Brother, Hold the bag first. Hold the money bag. Then later you can talk about emotional feelings. Who cares? See, don't lose this opportunity of becoming a son-in-law. I'm begging you, my guy. My guy, I'm begging you. Marriage is not a business transaction, Chris. Brother, this one is business. We have different kind of marriage. This marriage is business. Understand it this way now, so that we can hit this thing and understand this one is business. Any other marriage, you can take it, let it be your own pattern. This one is business. I'm tired of this thing, man. Now, why are you? Why? Are you? Oh. Very really comfortable again, man. Why are you really do this thing, man? Come on now. Dave, you really have some guts to show up here after what you did. Babe, I'm sorry. I lost control of myself with the excitement of you agreeing to go in with me. All right? I wasn't trained like this to disrespect women. I lost control of my emotions. Please, just give me a chance to make it up to you. I'm sorry, there will be no other chance. I don't have feelings for you. I don't feel anything for you, Dave. I don't love you. Dave, I understand. I was hoping that with time, you will learn to love me. Please give me give me a chance to make it up to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. It's this this is not working. It wasn't intentional. I got carried away. Please.
Baby! What are you carrying? Oh, my love. What's oh. going on here? I went to the market today. Okay. Guess what? What? I know you cannot be this guess. I can't guess what? I went to the market to get some foodstuffs. I want to make something really very special for you. What? You want to cook? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> you want to cook? Nah. No, 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 no. Why not? You don't like my food? No, that's not it. That's far Come on, I love your food. You're, you're an amazing cook. Um, it's, you know, it's just the whole hassle. You know, getting into the kitchen. See how beautiful you look. I didn't bring you down here to turn you to a slave. Okay? So this is what I think. I'm going to get us a professional cook. Yes. Someone who's going to be in charge of all of that, you know. Oh while you just look beautiful. And slay. All day. And slay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yes, baby. And slay. And just look hot for me. Right? Thank you so much, baby. I got you. You know I got you. Mm-hmm. Mm. You see why I love you, right? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so if you're hungry, I, I mean, I could change into something really nice and we just go to a five-star restaurant and have lunch. Sounds good? Oh, my God. Now I... Uh, you want to kiss me? I want to kiss you. Come here. Oh. <laughs> I love you. Let me just go drop this off in the room. It's fine. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, my friend. Ah, babe, mm -hmm. I swear down, you okay. needed to see the look on his face. <laughs> he was so angry, like I could see him boiling, I could feel it. Because of something, someone else. He mm -hmm. couldn't hide it. <laughs> if looks could kill. Oh my God. What I don't understand is, why is he so mad? Why are you angry? But you left me to get married to another woman. <sighs> Maybe he's still in love with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, why Why else would he be that mad? Hmm. I'm sure he's still in love with me. Babe, you started all. You have started. Andrew doesn't love you. No, he doesn't. It's just pain to see that you are happy after he left you. He thought you'd be miserable. But you know what? You gave him the shock of his life. Mm -hmm. He's shocked seeing that you can actually live without him. So please, forget about the possibility that Andrew might come back to you because he's not coming back. And who will take him back if he comes back? Me. Take <laughs> Andrew back when I'm not mad. After what he put me through. Ha. It's not possible. <laughs> oh. Well, it's good, you know. No, but Andrew, you know, if you see his eyes. Hey, God. <laughs> Babe, you know what? Just forget about that Andrew guy. And focus on the man that loves you more than life itself. Mm. Who knows? Maybe one day you might start liking him. Who knows? <laughs> like. Ah, ah, but I'm drawing. <laughs> so funny. We had something going on. Life shot. Thought he was love. I gave you. Let me help you. If you can tell yourself the truth, you are dying of loneliness. Yes. Let me be your companion. Let me be the air that you breathe. Come on. Let me be the eyes that you see. Let me be the ground that you step your foot on. Look at the okay, man. Okay is fucking sweet. Okay is made from heaven. Let me show you how a real man should treat a beautiful woman like you. Now enough of this rubbish. Out of my house. Get out of my house! I said get out of my house. If you don't leave now, what I'll do to you will leave an imprint on your body. Get out! What nonsense! Hello. Get out! 
out. I said, get out. Let me see you here again. Oh, rubbish. Yeah, I'll be coming to the club tonight. Mm. I hope I'll be getting the VIP, right? Mm. <laughs> you know I love to go to the club. <laughs> of course not. Do not worry about the expenses. Trust me now. You know what I'm capable of doing, right? I'll take care of the expenses. Why is your face like this? Now you need to see how your girlfriend treated me. How she embarrassed me and walked me out of her house. Just because I came to quench the loneliness in her life. The congee that is killing her and she has that mind to even walk me out of her house. Right? Oh, so far, right? Fire service officer, you came to quench and loneliness. Please, where is your fire extinguisher? Because I cannot see any with you. Is that all you have to say or are you mocking me? That's all I have to say now. You left your house to another person's house to quench fire. Ah, Brenda is so nice. Because if I was in her shoes, eh? If I was in her shoes, what I would have done to you? See, she'd never do anything and you're here whining like a baby. You should be thanking your stars. Because if it was me, eh? I would have plucked out these your two eyeballs and give them to the dog to eat. Are you okay? Are you okay? Look at Moke. Moke is looking fresh. Moke is made in heaven. Mm. See, let me tell you, very soon, Brenda will be the one begging me. He will say, Daddy Chris, Daddy Chris, please. Daddy Chris, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Are you okay? Hey. See, I didn't be a not in a good mood today, eh? I would have given you a dirty slap, stupid man. Come on. Stupid man. See, you think so highly of yourself, right? It's only a pig eh, that would date a stupid pig like you. Come on, get out of my sight. Come on, you come on, say we send you. Stupid man. Oh, Rubbish, I will kill you, dear. Come on. You get her too. No, Rubbish. okay. Okay, it's looking fresh. She will beg me now. Okay, it's fresh. That's a permissive in society where you get the freedom to do what you want to do. But she is Nigerian. What happened to our values?
Hey, Blaine. It's a delivery guy at the door. And I believe this is for you. Really? Mm hmm Wow. So who is sending me gifts? I don't know. Let's see. Huh. Looks really cute. Who is it from? Let's see. Wow. This oh, is nice. nice. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's in here. So let's see who it's from. Okay. So the most beautiful, strong, and resilient woman I know. <laughs> I hope your day is as sweet as you are. Mm -hmm. Love, Dave. Dave! Mm -hmm. Ah, wow! Oh my God! Mm, this is so sweet. I know. But why does he have to do this all the time? Because he loves you. Mm -hmm. Please. Yes! Well, I know you can't relate because you're not used to being treated like this by any man. Come on. But Dave, Dave is a good guy. See him treating you like a princess. I hope you wake up one day and realize that he's the one for you. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> Tell me, when last did you receive gifts? You understand. That's no. stupid, Andrew. Did he ever send you uh, gifts like it's this? okay. <laughs> Let's not go there. It's fine. Not only that, she's a bad cook. She's also a terrible woman being with a terrible behavior. What a shameless she got. Kissing another man in front of her fiance's house. Jesus Christ, have mercy. So now look show, now look show me this so. Hi! But I, I still have to encourage Andrew because if Andrew finds out about this, Andrew will cut off everything. And, you know, he had to go back to uh, Brenda, which I will not allow. Hi, God. What kind of she good is this? Huh? This one, I'll not show. Now, I'll not show how they go force my guy. Clarita, where are you coming from in this state? Clarita, do you realize how worried I have been? I called your phone all night. No response. Phone switched off. Called your parents. They told me that you're not at theirs. Where are you coming from? So who are you to question? Huh? Who? And you even reek of alcohol. <laughs> so you've been drinking, eh? Listen to me. Whatever I choose to do, it's none of your damn business. Okay? Now get out, you dummy. Get out. Ha, ha, ha. 
that was really funny, Dave. I must confess, you're really, really funny. Like, you crack me up so much. Really? Yeah. I I'm glad I can make you laugh. It's <laughs> nothing. I mean, yeah. you can feel free to pop by anytime you want. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Regarding your proposal, I'll think about it and we'll see how it goes from here. <laughs> oh my God. You don't know how happy I am. <sighs> You've made my day ready. <laughs> Who knows? Anything can happen. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Let me see you all. Okay. Oh my god, that was really, really funny. Like you have some more joke in you. This is misery. This is pain. This is this is everything wrong. This is not a life. Huh? We have already committed. Too committed to go back now. What do I do? If I call this thing off with this woman, I'll lose everything. And I can't afford to go back to the slum. My enemies would laugh at me. What do I do? Honestly, where did you learn how to cook? You know, your meals are so nice. And then this jollof rice is just one. You know, if you go for jollof competition, you win. Ah, uh, I will probably send you to Ghana for Niger jollof competition. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad you loved it. Look, you, you finished everything. I finished it because you also eat with me. <laughs> you know. I'm glad, baby. I'm, I mean, it's, it's my job to make sure you feed your tummy and fill your stomach with good mm -hmm. homemade food. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Every day after work. You take care of me real good. <laughs> and I'm glad that you love to eat my food. Yes, because you always eat with me. Beyond your food, I love just how you take care of me. You're always welcome, baby. Thank you. I'll this. All right, honey. Ah, now you're going to wake me sleep. <laughs> Lord have mercy. After a tedious day at work, I still have to go to the kitchen myself to begin to cook. Because this one here, lying hopelessly drunk here, cannot even boil water. Even when she makes an attempt to cook, she ends up cooking potty. No, no. No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> but Chris, Chris, on a serious note, eh? you know, try, you just forget me. You never blew. You don't discuss like fuel for my country. Where do they play? I mean, since when you start to follow uh, Andy, I've been an Andrew, that your guys, so, you know, you don't come forget me. Where do they happen now? Not in this one, which one that never blew? No one. See, Andrew has been on my neck since, you understand? You get this transaction with me and Andrew, they run. In fact, he want to marry the chief daughter. Chief? I chief William? The CEO of yeah. GM oil and gas. I will go where you know. Omo, you guys don't blow me that too. Hey, as you said, to just the talk, which you blow for where I live, that that again a rubbish. That again a nonsense. Omo, me see, I have encountered so many rich men's daughter. You understand? You know, I know their character. You know, most of these rich men, their daughter, they are number one, they are lazy. Number two, they are rude. But this one in particular, this girl. Her own words, I swear. <laughs> Why did they cast her like that? What happened? Boss, see this girl get mind. Enter market, buy meat, buy fish, buy all the ingredients to the cook. He come house. He pour everything for pot, but water everything. If I wanted to vex me, he say, if I want to eat this food, I don't know whether I'm hypo or so. The girl they watch the leave. 
I've been on our own with wash the meat. <laughs> we as we eat them, everything they smell both so both hypo. After eating, we almost throw up our our intestine, I swear. The way that I understand. When I call eat them, I eat them. We have no option and an eye service, you understand? We have no option, we have to force ourselves to eat it. In fact, what did they even vex me, bros? No even matter of the food. Because when they talk about food now, different thing. This girl no get manners at all. Do you know I saw this girl kissing another man? Ah. Hi. That's bad now. What you call you? You know tell your friend. I mean, somebody when they plan to marry some person. They talk mm -hmm. like this now. How they talk like how they talk like this. So I will go and tell Andrew. So Andrew will call off the wedding. Mm -hmm. So all the effort what are they made? So Andrew will go sit down for the company as the CEO. So that I go sit down, collect the money so that I know they suffer. Eh? And again, you, 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 you said, you know, say, if Andrew find out, Andrew will call off the wedding and Andrew will go back to Brenda. And you know, say, I got my eyes on Brenda, bro. You know, say, that girl thing is sweet. Me, I, I need them, I need them. I don't need Andrew to go back to that girl. You're supposed to understand. No, 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 Chris. That one, I don't support you. That one, I don't support you. Now, your guy, you know, for whatever reason, you, only, you don't have to go back to his to his ass. For whatever reason, guy. I will not support you on that. So? Did I tell you I'm the one getting married to her? My process is that Andrew will get married to her so that Andrew will become the CEO. So when you tell me the thought say, you know, he did bad or he did... It's not my business now. I'm not the one getting married. I'm only trying to make sure that Andrew married. So leave all those things. I beg, bro. Till they verse me or... This is my wedding, okay? All my friends are coming in from the States, so I want everything professional. I don't want any mistake. So if you know so well that you won't be able to offer me professional services, <laughs> kindly let me know now so you can actually opt out. It's not so late, okay? Good. So on that note, uh, after the wedding, please get me a yacht because I would want to cruise with my friends after the wedding, you know. <laughs> and I would want to go on a vacation with my husband to Santorini because that's my dream destination. <laughs> you get me. <laughs> the date for the wedding? Uh, we don't have a date fixed for that yet, but it's not a problem. Once the date is fixed, I would have that communicated to you immediately. So, how much is the budget? Just 50 million. Okay. It's okay. Mm, that's fine. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. I have to. Wait a minute. So Andrew left the house this morning without making something for me to eat. Is he mad or something? Oh, <laughs> so you think you can actually just mess with me, right? Ah. Hmm. Okay. Good luck for me. Hello, Daddy. Good afternoon, sir. Daddy, I'm fine. Daddy, is Andrew at work? Daddy, please, just kindly release him back to the house. Daddy, you won't believe that Andrew left the house this morning without even making something for me to eat, and now I'm starving. Thank you so much, Daddy, because I just don't even know what to do. That's why I love you.
Andrea, why would you leave the house without preparing me breakfast? Huh? Andrew, why would you do this? Huh? Why would you leave the house without trying to make me something to eat first? You knew I'd be hungry, right? Yet you chose to leave the house first without me having to eat first. Not nice! Clarita. You could have simply gone to one of the restaurants in, in this estate and get yourself something to eat. As a matter of fact, we'll have one very close to the house, just a few blocks away from the house. You could have done that and avoid the drama of having to call your father to tell him what's going on with us. Come on now. You're not a child, you're a grown woman. You lived abroad all by yourself. I like to think that you did things for yourself now, didn't you? I don't live abroad. I live here with you now. So it is your duty to take good care of me and not the other way around. Mm. But just in case you don't know what to do, I can teach you. You just ask me politely and I'll teach you. You should be petting me, you know, treating me right, trying to feed me, care for me. I am your girlfriend, you should be caring for me. <sighs> anyway, I, I'm sorry for this life of you. Thanks for the food. I'm very much in it. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. I wasn't expecting you to be here. Honestly, I'm surprised, <laughs> but it's a good surprise. I'm not complaining. You know, when um, I called and you told me where you were, so I had to give you a surprise. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Now you want to cut my workout short. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm trying to keep fit. Oh, baby, listen. Baby, I love the way you are. Come on. <laughs> Why are you... I don't understand the way you're going for the gym and see if you're, you want to go for an Olympics. Oh, Is this something you're not telling me, babe? Don't be silly. I'm just keeping faith, that's all. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, the gym stuff you're done for today, let me take you out for really? the first treat. Yeah, baby. Who am I to say no to my boss? Because I'll go get my things and off we go. You take me to wherever you want to. Okay. I'll be right back, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Let me go get my things, okay? All right. Hurry up, baby. <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no way, girl. Yes, way, girl. Look, if you see the way I acted like I was not seeing anything like him around me. In fact, I did not act like somebody was existing or standing close to me. Uh, trust me now. I trust I you. I made sure he felt not seen and I succeeded. <laughs> That's my girl. I know what you can do. There's no way we're going back to our old format. Baby, you know what? Just forget about that Andrew guy. He's the least of our problems right now. He's in the past and he should remain there. So tell me, when am I going to get ready for Asoibi? <laughs> when is Dave going to propose? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> ah. Why is your face suddenly all squeezed up? Don't you want to get married to Dave? 
I, I don't really know. I'm not sure. But it's not like he's even asked. Isn't it a bit too early? I think it's too early and it's not like he has asked me anything. Even if he does, I don't think I'm ready. I think it's too early and it's not the right time. Babe, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm good. I'll go do all right. Mm. What's the important thing is I put Andrew where he belongs. Like I made him feel the heat, the pressure. He felt it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That stupid guy. Please, be fine. No. You have to be fine because it's Dave or Dave. There's no room for any second option. And mm. not even that stupid Andrew. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> stupid Andrew. Or your smile. <laughs> you don't like me talking about that Andrew guy. In spite of all that may be. I am giving up or Baby, just give me your heart. Babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you think about... Wow. Babe, you look so beautiful as always. Come on. Are you no? sure? Yeah. We need to hurry. No, wait, wait, wait. You mean... Is what I'm wearing not too revealing and short? Baby, whatever you wear is perfect. As long as you're comfortable in it. I'm okay, babe. <sighs> babe. Hmm? How do I look? Do you like? Make it twelve. Oh, mm, babe, let me see. you can see it. Too much legs. Hey, bro, it's Your a legs are reverse posed. It's a beautiful dress and it sits well on me. It's a beautiful dress that happens to be a bit too short, darling. I don't want those guys looking at you and, you know, making out with you in their head because they can't see your legs. Babe. Yes, baby. Okay, I'll I'll go change. Maybe wear a long skirt and a scarf. I don't mind. To make my lordship happy. You know, outfits like this you wear for me in the bedroom, just for my Baby, eyes. A tie up. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> um, you, you know what? I don't think I I still feel like going out with you. What? I changed my mind. Why? Did I say anything wrong? No, no, I just developed a headache, a migraine, and it's it's hurting my head so bad. I, I need to take care of myself. Okay, wait, wait. Let me take you to sleep. No, doctor. no, no. You don't have to. I'll, I'll take care of myself. Are you, are you sure? Yes, my, my head hurts. I'll be fine. You have to calm down. You just have to calm down. I should calm down. How do you expect me to calm down when Andrew has refused to fix a date for our wedding? Huh? Wait a minute. Is he seeing someone else? Could he be seeing someone else? That's the reason why he has been misbehaving. Well, I don't know what is delaying him, um, but one thing I know for sure, I know he wants to marry you. Oh, gosh. And I will testify that there is no other woman. Chris, how could you even say he wants to get married to me? All my friends have been asking for a fixed date. I just feel so close. I, I don't even know what to say. I feel so stupid. Well, just tell them to calm down. Everything is working fine. And you too, you have to calm down. I will talk to him myself. Just calm down. I should calm down. Okay, you talk to him yourself. <laughs> I think uh, at this point, Andrew feels because I'm actually asking him for a date. So that's why he could be misbehaving. He thinks I'm begging him, right? That is what he thinks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, because if Andrew seems to understand that I have so many suitors asking for my hand in marriage, 
So listen, the kind of men that have been asking me out is not even in any way close to the league of Andrew. So even me trying to even marry him is because I even, I'm trying to manage him. Like I'm trying to manage his situation. And yet he's making young guy, he's doing guy for me. Like seriously. Well, I don't even blame him. I blame my father. Because I, I just don't know why he seems to trust Andrew so much. Saying that without him, he can't even handle his business. That is the reason why I'm going through all of this bullshit. Gosh, I can't believe this. What if I fix this date myself? Fix what date yourself? Are you the one I'm getting married to? Why would you even, like, who even does that? I see, baby, I, I know this is um, kind of strange. But if this is what I can do for my friend Andrew, there is nothing. I know Andrew doesn't want to listen, but this is the best I can do for him. See, um, I know Andrew very well. He cannot keep a lady like you for so long. It's not possible. Well, if you can talk to him, then I would appreciate. I'm not asking you to beg him all. I'm not, okay? Because I know my words. I know what I'm bringing to the table. No, it's nothing. See, let me tell you. It's very rare and difficult to find ladies like you. Number one, you are beautiful. Number two, you, you, you're hardworking. Number three, you are generous. Not even many more. So, you don't have to worry about it. Just calm down. I will talk to him. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know what? For this thing you just said to me right now, I would have to surprise you. Let me have your account number. Are you serious, Nick? Of course, yes. Put it here. You are the big energy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we know Andrew, we don't understand. Sent. I just sent you 500k. You said to take care of yourself, get some nice clothes, and look good. Wow, 500k. Yeah. This is half a million. <laughs> Maybe see for this generosity. Yeah. Just go. Your set. Your case is set. In fact, Andrew must marry you. Mm. I will fix this date. Fact, let me just tell you now. By the last Saturday of this month, this this month now. You're married already. Just go. Oh, you're so funny. Just go, don't worry. It's such a, it's such a. Thank you so much. Babe, what's going on? Dave said you cancelled your date with him. Why? I thought you were excited to go. Monica, what's wrong in cancelling on something you... You don't want to be part of. I changed my mind and I cancelled. What's wrong with that? Now tell me, what really happened? Okay, fine. I wore this outfit that I know very, very well. It was, it was a bit short and quite revealing. And this guy was okay with it. Like he had nothing to say about it. In fact, he loved it. What kind of a man is that? No, 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 no. I cannot be with a man like that. I can't be with a man that sees everything I do as okay. No, please, not me. I can't. Are we not indirectly talking about Andrew? Monica, that's not the point. Okay. My point is, I want a man that is in charge. A man that sees the wrong I do and corrects it. Not a man that says yes to everything I do and doesn't see anything wrong in what I do. I want a man to be the man that he is. I, I want him to be in charge. I want my man to protect me. Mm. Yes. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Tell me, what do you really want? What do you want? Eh? When he's now caring for a woman and allowing her to be herself, now a wrong thing to do. If he's a bully now, you'll still be the one to complain. Well, maybe I'm different. I want different. I just want my man to be in control. The way you're sounding now is getting me angry. You've lost it completely. You know what? I'm calling Dave right now. And hope you're not doing that on my behalf because I'm not interested. I'm doing that on your behalf, baby girl. 
So is he trouble? I'm not interested. He's not my kind of man. He's not my type. He's too cool for a man for me. Are you serving? Bro, what can I do you now? What is it now, eh? What is your problem? Why haven't you fixed this wedding date now? Why are you in a hurry? Hmm? Plus, I'm not in a hurry. You understand? See, what all I'm saying is this. Eh? Don't allow this opportunity to pass you by. It could be very bad. Say this opportunity, you lose them. See, very soon you will be a billionaire. And you will be addressed as Chief Andrew, the CEO of GMO Oil and Gas. You know, sweet you. You know, sweet you. Is this about your selfish interest? Or is this about my life? Me. Chris, money is not everything, you know. Listen, I will tell you for when you do every time. You say money is not everything. This one, money is everything. All you need to do, marry this girl, bros. Money will come. Do this thing for me now. Hmm? Well, I'm still thinking about Brenda. I know it's not right at this time, but I can't help it, all right? It's a feeling that I can't shake off. I also know that it's... There's nothing I can do about it. I know. But that's why you see that I'm a bit um, sluggish with coming up with a date to marry Clarita. Listen, if I would have to place both women on a scale, you know, when it has, when it has to do with character and substance, Brenda is a hundred. You know. I know. I know. It's, see, it's not like it's not like I hate Brenda. Or why I'm calling Brenda a devil or something. You understand? But bros, if you check out, eh? Clarita, she has done everything to prepare for this wedding. You cannot allow her to waste all this effort. Eh? All the rehearsal and everything. Now your money don't want to do this wedding. Is it your money? It's not your money now. All you need to do, marry this girl. And everything will flow well. I'm, I'm a good friend, though, brother. I'm a good friend. Check out now. See, you must marry this girl, though. You must marry this girl. And this wedding will be the, the last Saturday of this month. I am telling you, you don't marry and finish. Are you okay? This is worry you. Are you okay? I ask you. I am okay. I, I do okay. You don't see me. I do okay now. What is it? What the hell is this? I just asked you a question. Who is she? She's no one. <sighs> Andrew, you know so well that this is not the answer that I need from you right now. If you know you want peace in this house, just answer this question. Who is she? Listen, you need to calm down. I should calm down? Yes. I should calm down. Please calm down. Do not ever tell me to calm down in this house ever! Clarita. 
Okay, she's my ex. She's my ex-girlfriend. She's she's my she's my immediate ex. Um, but you must understand that it's over between us. All right, all that has happened between the both of us is you know it's gone, it's forgotten, and it's just you and I here, baby. Listen, you're the one in my life, though. You're the one here with me. You know we're planning to get married, and I think that you should just keep your head in what we're doing and just stay focused on what we have. Andrew, yes. I should stay focused. I should stay focused. Yet you choose to cuddle every night with your clean ex. Andrew, I should stay focused. Yet you choose to misbehave like this. And you want me to be focused? I should be focused. Yet you choose to cuddle with this so-called stupid thing. And then you leave me hanging. Yet you want me to stay focused. I see. Well, hold on. You know what, Sandra? I am done. I am done. I have been bearing trying to see if I can accommodate all of your misbehavior. Well, at this point, I am done. Take a walk. Goodbye. Who is she? Do you know her? Is she the reason why Andrew has been fighting so hard to fix a wedding date? Well, I must tell you the truth. Anything about this picture is past tense. Andrew has nothing to do with her anymore, so... There's no problem. Andrew has nothing to do with her anymore. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. You will have to tell me everything I need to know about this lady. I am interested. Well, you can speak. I'm listening. I'm still your boy. Whatever you want, I will tell you. What do you want to hear? Everything. Okay. So it is you. It is you who have been causing chaos in my relationship. Hmm? I beg your pardon? I'm very sure you must be wondering how I got to know about your house. Yeah, just so in case you want to know. As long as money is concerned, I can choose to figure out whatever that I want to find out in this country. I don't know you. And I don't care to know you now. Leave my house. Leave! <laughs> if you're the one whose man sleeps and wakes up every morning and night with another sleepless picture, how would you feel? How would you feel? Oh. But just so in case you want to know, listen to me and listen very carefully. Andrew is mine. And mine alone. We're getting married soon and Andrew would never leave me for a cheap all like you. Never. So just 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 take my visit to your house as a friendly visit. Because get the out. next time I'm coming back to this house, it's going get to be in war. out. Get out of my house. Get out. I'll call the security to take you out. I said leave. You will call the security to take me out. Yes. <laughs> it seems you don't even know whom you're talking to, but I'll remind you. Just have it in mind, darling. That Andrew would never leave me for a cheap slot like you in this life, never. And if you were so sure and confident about that, you wouldn't be in my own house, ranting and whining like a kid. Leave. Get lost. Shush. Get out. Be warned. Oh, that kid has no respect. Of course. 
Monica. Um, yes. Monica. Man. How could you let in such a person into my home? I've never seen so much rubbish and nonsense in one person like that girl. Like she had the guts, the effrontery to come into my house to threaten me to leave Andrew. Can you imagine that? Wait, 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 wait. wait. She was so condescending and rude. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Was that the reason she came here? If I knew that was the reason, I would have given her the beating of her life. What nonsense. And wait, oh, for that Andrew guy, why is he still with your pictures? That to sleeping on them. What is wrong with him? Perhaps you could even come here to drop a threat. It means there's trouble in paradise. Okay. Baby girl, they're fighting because of you. I don't care. I don't care and I mean it. I'm going to call him to put a leash on his dog. Do that. What rubbish. Ah. <laughs> in spite of all that may be, I know that I will always stay. People may think I'm insane, but I know what I want. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. I um uh, you you forgot your toothbrush at my place. Uh, I I thought you might need it, so I decided to bring it for you. Wait a minute. You came all the way from your house to mine to return this. A toothbrush that is not worth more than five hundred naira. Well, anyways, thank you. Um, yes, your also brush. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm going to leave now. Yes, that's what you should do. And bye. I mean, I, I mean, like, uh, I'm going. Yes, and bye. I heard you. That's that's your toothbrush. Yes, and I have it. I don't know what I have done to deserve him treating me this way. I think because he knows that I really like him so much. I, I don't deserve this. I, I don't. I really do not. See, I don't really understand all this drama. I think Andrew has been bewitched. Yeah, I think, because there is no man in his right sense would treat a woman like you this way. It, it, it sounds somehow to me. But please, stop crying. I'll put it to his face when he comes back and I'll do it to my Talk to him, talk, talk to him. What is going on? Hey, good. Good. You don't know what you think. What did you say? I can explain it, not what you think. How do you know what I think? Chris, in my own house. You do this? You tell me. It's not what I think. How do you know what I think? I'm asking you.
I'll take the monkey out of the forest. But you'll never be able to take the forest out of the monkey. Get out of my house. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Baby, please. <laughs> Did I, did I do something wrong? You have been ghosting me. You don't, you don't reply my, my tests or my calls. Please tell me if I've done something, just say it. Your, your silence is killing me. Dave, you've not done anything wrong at all. In fact, you're the, one of the kindest and sweetest person I've ever met. It's not you, it's, it's, it's me. I, I want something different. I know I told you I was going to give you a proposal of thought, but I tried to convince myself that it was you, that I could be happy with you, that you were the one for me, but it's not working. I'm sorry, Dave, I, I, I can't be with you. I can't date you. It's fine. I mean, if that's what you want, it's, it's okay. Your happiness is all that matters. And thank you for understanding. I can see you're looking for an excuse to bring in your half. But trust me, darling, it will never last. Because I'll be reporting this to my father. And I would make sure that I render you homeless. I would ensure to deal with you in such a way that you would crawl down on your knees begging me. And I would never listen to you. I would never listen to you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, hmm, interesting. No problem. Just enjoy your glass of drink while it lasts. Because very soon, you'll be drinking from your own cup. <laughs> no problem. You've come to return something I forgot, maybe my toothpick this time around. No. Then why are you here? I've come to speak my truth. Brenda, I love you. <laughs> Ever since I left you, Mother Singuri has passed without me thinking of you. Are you drunk or you're high on something? I have never been this sober all my life. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know that I am falling apart without you. I know that I have tried to live without you and it's not working. Brenda, listen, it's fine if you will not give me audience to talk to me. I understand it, given how I treated you. I probably deserve it. 
Or do I deserve to spend the rest of my life without you? I don't know. I don't know if I deserve your forgiveness, Brenda, but please. This man really cannot live without you. I have tried. It's not working. And that is how I know that you are the one. Please forgive me. That must be very heartbreaking. It, it was painful. It, it, it was very painful. You know when, when you call someone your own, your, your friend, your brother? Chris is like family to me. To think that he would do that under my roof is just beyond my comprehension. What if I told you he asked me out? What? Yes, I did. Chris asked you out. He asked me out while we were dating. He asked me out when we were separated. What? Are you, you didn't tell me. Why? If I did, would you have believed me? That guy was never your friend. He's never been your friend. In fact, he's not someone to call a friend. I still... I shouldn't let this slide now. I should make him pay for this. I think you should just let it go. Ignore him. I mean, he's in the past now. Let's focus on the future. More important things is nothing. Just forget him. Brenda, speaking of our future, do you really think that I deserve you? been through a lot. I hurt you. Yet, you let me sit here with you and talk with you. And for that, I am very grateful. given how I have treated you. Do you think that I am worthy of your love? I just want to be sure that you have forgiven me from your heart. I know that I still love you. I know that I am willing to spend the rest of my life righting my wrongs. I just ask that you be patient with me. As we get on this journey of a brighter future between the both of us. Having you this close to me again is a blessing. One that I have prayed for, for so long. And so I say thank you, baby. Thank you. I wanna stand by you.
Hello, good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, I just um, I got to the apartment now, and I I, I couldn't um, the the locks are changed, sir. I don't know is 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 there a reason for the change, sir? But sir, you, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me you're joking. I'm not. I, I just couldn't help it. I don't know how it happened. I couldn't control myself. I love him. Eh? No, you don't love him. You're just being stupid. What is wrong with you? Have you ever asked yourself why this guy keeps coming back when he has nothing? Let me tell you. Because he knows you're the only one he can fall back to. He doesn't care about you. He's using you. Andrew is not like that. That's not who he is. Oh, now you are even defending him. I can't believe this. Honestly, I am disappointed at you. Why can't you resist him? I, I, I mean, put up a fight and make him understand that what he did to you really hurt you a lot. Have you seen the guy? He's miserable. I can't keep torturing him even more. Exactly. Exactly why he's back. You know what? As your friend, I will never approve of this. Never. And listen, I will not sit and see you waste your life with that baby man again. Somebody that doesn't even know what he wants. Not after everything he did to you. Mika, come on now. I love him. Doesn't that count? Hey. Hello, Fred. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, please, are you still at the bank? You're still in the office. Okay, good. Please, I don't know what's going on with my account. I have not been able to carry out a successful transaction since morning. Under investigation for embezzlement. What are you talking about? This is not true. Listen, you 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 might want to check again and be sure of what you're saying. It didn't happen. Of course, I, this did not happen. I'm not under investigation for anything. troubles of always you know doing this i mean i can always get myself something it's nothing okay thank you you're welcome and thanks for always looking out for me regardless i appreciate it you're welcome andrew so what's the plan what's what's the way forward what are your plans and actions afterwards what do you intend to do i hope to get my lawyer to get on the case and hopefully something um something good comes out of it you know, this was the exact reason I rejected your proposal years ago and asked you to invest. It wasn't because you did not have enough money at that time. 
It was because I wanted the best for you. I did not want to indebt it to someone all your life. Because they're going to use it against you at a slight opportunity and remind you that you're nothing without them. And they're going to dump you like a bad habit the moment you stop being useful to them. Yeah. And I'm sorry that I misunderstood you. You have a very pure heart, Brenda. Once again, I am sorry that I failed to see that you were trying to save me. Now I know better. It's okay. It's all in the past now. And um, you can stay here for as long as you want to get your life back together. Thank and you. you don't need to worry for anything about anything. You have me. I'm here for you. <laughs> Always. You. What did you mean? <laughs> Open and see. <laughs> Surprise. I knew I would find you here. <laughs> no surprise. What do you want? I brought you an offer. One I know you would never resist. So start begging me. For everything you've done to me. On how badly you've been treating me in the past. And I haven't even looked at it. Start begging me. Go down and kiss my feet. And just maybe, I could forgive you. Not in this life. Will I get on my knees for you and your father? As a matter of fact, both of you should be worried because I'm coming for you. Yeah. Both of you should be worried because I'm coming for you. I'm an innocent man and my lawyers are going to come really hard on you and your father. I am going to have my day in court. And at the end of the day, the both of you will be ashamed of yourselves for what you've done. <laughs> Clap for yourself. What a very lovely speech. Anyways, uh, it's just so sad because you know my father. You know him so well. Yet to choose to talk to me in this manner. Anyways, the offer stands still tomorrow. So make a decision. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. What are you doing by my car? God will punish you. God will punish you. You are evil. I am evil. Chris, what are you talking about? So you want to you you are pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about, eh? So you have HIV inside you. You you have HIV. And you deceive me. Okay. Okay, this week. You deceived me. To sleep with you. <laughs> ah! 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 I deceived you. Or you humped on me like a he goat on hits. Who deceived you? Oh, do not even deceive yourself, man. Get out. So I give you so much money. So use the money to go take care of yourself. Oh, oh, the God I serve. The God I serve would kill you. You would die by fire. Your family would die. Your father would die. Your mother would die. You. You want to destroy me. <laughs> wait, 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 Chris. Do you have a God? Do you have a God? Ask, no, no, let's be sincere. Do you yourself have a God? So you have a God and you are busy. You saw a fine lady and then you wanted to hump in. Now you have humped in and you're complaining. Oh God, get out of here. Let me tell you something. Your friend is very lucky that he didn't even come close to me. Or like you who is so stupid. You saw a fine girl you want to end. Now you want to complain. I beg, get out. Come and go, are you, come and go, let me see. I will tell the owner for that. You, you be a shower, you carry this. I want like, a shower. Chris, get out. You carry HIV, everybody will hear today. Chris, come and enter, let me see you. my car. You enter, let me see you. You gave me HIV, you want to go. Chris, leave ah. my car. You know, I, I, I can't ban banter words with you. Leave my car. What will I do, my father? Chris, will leave I my car. Get out from here, leave my I, car. What will I do? <laughs> Chris, leave my car. Baby girl, uh -uh. 
Where is Andrew? I don't see him around. Oh, he has a court ruling today. And I pray he wins. Because if he doesn't, he's going to lose everything. And that wouldn't be good on him. <laughs> don't worry. He has a strong case. I feel he's going to win. Babe, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy both of you are back together. <laughs> so wait, you're not mean. You're not mad at me that I took him back? Um, I was, but not anymore. <laughs> Seeing how happy you've become since both of you reconciled, I have no choice but to support your decision. I mean, this is the happiest I've seen <laughs> you in a long while. <laughs> thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> oh, I remember that Clarita girl. She was here. Clarita. Oh, mm -hmm. that that girl. And Nels. What does she want this time around? She asked Andrew to take her back. That way that he wouldn't lose everything. And Andrew refused. Outrightly. I mean, I was surprised he refused the offer. That means he's really changed. He's no longer about the money. I just pray he wins, honestly. This is very nice. That's good. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, girl. I'm <laughs> praying so hard for him. Maybe. We won. Wait. We won. You did? The cops ruled in our favor. Oh my god, baby. I'm oh so happy for you. Yes. Look at you. The court ruled in my favor and I'm just so happy. Oh. Goodness. Ha! Ah. Anyway, I'm so so happy for you. It's good news. So the judge ruled in our favor and instructed the chief to return all assets seized. Back to me, of course. Oh my and God! And of course, he has been asked to pay a fine for defamation of character, and all that comes to me as well. So, Babe. we're good again. Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for us. <sighs> you know. And listen, baby, don't say no. I want you to move in with me. Oh. All right. I just want you in close proximity so that I can spoil you. You know. I just want to spend the rest of my life really making up for all the things that you have done. I got through this because I had you by my side. Come here. I'm so, so proud and happy for you. Congratulations. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Ah, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know that this might bring back ugly and painful memories, but I assure you that this time, that I'm not going to hurt you that way the second time. This time is for real, and we are going to replace old and painful memories with new and beautiful memories. I love you. And each time I say so, my heart believes the words that comes out of my mouth. Life has indeed shown me that you are my woman. For you have seen me go through fire <laughs> and come out. You have been through thick and thin with me and I don't think that there's a couple more qualified than you and I to get married. Beyond you being my bride, a beautiful bride that you will make on that special day. You're my best friend. You're my rock. You're my pillar. The one who makes my heart skip when she's not there. I dare not try to do life without you. My darling Brenda. If you agree to be my wife, I promise to make you the happiest woman on earth. 
Will you marry me? Of course I will. I will marry you. Thank you, babe. Stand by you 